Welcome to the chapter Metals and Nonmetals. Let us perform an activity on reactivity of metals. Click each tab to know more. Take 500 ml beakers and label them as P, Q, R, S and T. Pour 50 ml of water in each beaker. Dissolve a spoonful of copper sulfate in beakers P and Q. Now, dissolve a spoonful of zinc sulfate, iron sulfate in beakers R, S and T respectively. Now, put zinc granules in beaker P, iron nail in beakers Q and T, copper turnings in beakers R and S. Leave the beakers undisturbed and observe the changes in each beaker. We have observed that in beaker P, the blue color of copper sulfate disappears and a powdery red mass of copper is deposited at the bottom of the beaker. We also observed that in beaker Q, red copper is found in the bottom of the beaker and on the nail leaving light green iron sulphate solution. Similarly, we also observed that there is no change in the other three beakers R, S and T. We learned that in beaker P, zinc Zn displaces copper Cu from copper sulphate CuSO4 giving rise to colorless zinc sulphate ZnSO4. Similarly, in beaker Q, iron Fe displaces copper from copper sulphate CuSO4 giving rise to light green color of the iron sulfate FeSO4. Since we do not see any change in the other three beakers R, S and T, we can learn that copper is unable to displace zinc from zinc sulfate in beaker R, copper is unable to displace iron from iron sulfate in beaker S, Iron is unable to display zinc from zinc sulfate in beaker T. Finally, we can say that a more reactive metal can displace a less reactive metal, but a less reactive metal cannot replace a more reactive metal. Owing to this reason, there are no displacement reactions in beaker R, S and T.